Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm back. I know y'all just seen the video I did on Mitchell Trubisky, dog. I know I went kind of hard on him, but hey, man, it is what it is. That I just telling y'all how I feel, man. That's just how I feel about it. But we got to move on to some other NFL news, dog, because there's a lot going on right now. So first thing I'm going to start off with is Green Bay Packers wide receiver Devontae Adams has told the Green Bay Packers that he's not playing under that franchise tag. And I'm not mad at him because he thought he was going to come into this year and get a big money contract. And they gave the big money contract to Aaron Rodgers, which is well-deserved. You're going to do everything in your power to keep Aaron Rodgers, you know what I'm saying? But I get Devontae Adams' point. I'm supposed to be getting big money. And if I'm not getting my big money, I'm not playing. I'm not playing under no lousy-ass franchise tag. So I'm not mad at Devontae Adams. Moving on to some more news, we got James Conner has taken over as the number one running back for the Cardinals. Yes, the James Conner used to play for us. He had an amazing year last year. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he led the league in touchdowns, rushing touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure he did. But James Conner is taking over as the number one running back in Arizona. And they're working on signing him to a big deal. And the other running back for the Cardinals, Chase Edmonds, got signed by the Miami Dolphins. So that tells you all the reasons that they're giving James Conner the keys they're giving him the keys in Arizona, which he rightfully deserves. He had a great year last year. He had a great year. And I was personally happy for him because he dealt with a lot of injuries in Pittsburgh. So I was happy to see him move on, find a new home, and really, like, show his full strength, really show his full talents. He had some amazing catches last year, too. Had some amazing catches, some amazing running, some amazing touchdown. He did what he was supposed to do last year. And like I said, I'm just proud of James Conner. So shout out to him. Hopefully they can get him a big contract. And he's the new number one over there. Moving on to some more news that's in our division. As y'all know, the Browns traded for Amari Cooper a couple days ago. I made a video on that. Make sure y'all go check that out. And today, they cut Jarvis Landry. Yes, they cut Jarvis Landry today. And honestly, I'm happy for Jarvis Landry because we seen what happened when Odell got cut. He went back to his old self when he had a right quarterback. So if Jarvis Landry can go to a team with a right quarterback, he can go back to Juice because I stopped calling him that shit because he definitely wasn't that. It was like he ran out of juice when he went to Cleveland. But, um, yeah, Jarvis Landry has officially been released. Hopefully whatever team gets him, it's a team with a good quarterback that can put him back on track the way he was in Miami because when he was in Miami, that man was a dog. He was an absolute dog. So hopefully, you know, he can come back to his former self like he was. Hopefully he can get a right little quarterback with him because – I would like to see Jarvis Landry, you know, saying come back to his former self. Um, he showed flashes of that in Cleveland, but it's like Baker Mayfield throwing you the ball is crazy. And I feel bad for Amari Cooper because Amari Cooper probably think, oh, yeah, it's going to be me and Jarvis. That's not too bad. You know what I'm saying? But now it's going to be him and nobody knows who else. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But, hey, I think I think Amari Cooper be all right, bro. I don't think he's going to fall off, fall off. But you do have Baker Mayfield throwing to you. Um, and yeah, whoa, as I'm recording this video, news just broke on my phone that the Eagles have signed Hassan Reddick to a three-year deal. The Philadelphia Eagles have signed Hassan Reddick, yes, Hassan Reddick from the Panthers to a three-year deal. They got him. They got him. And I know my boys is hype. I know my boy Re, X, She, Thurn. I know they all hype. My dad, uh, my dad probably at work, he probably don't even know what's going on, but the Eagles just got Hassan Reddick. This is a good pickup for them because they really needed a linebacker. They really needed a linebacker. I think this is a big pickup for the Eagles. That literally just popped up on my phone. Y'all got me. That was a live reaction y'all just got. Usually I do it after. Y'all just got a live reaction. So Hassan Reddick to the Eagles, that's good for them. That's that's very, very good for them. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, the Browns are probably going to have to draft a receiver, pick up a receiver in free agency, maybe go and get an Allen Robinson, maybe. They're going to have to do something because now it's literally just Amari Cooper and Donovan Peoples-Jones if you want to count Donovan Peoples-Jones, which uh, a little iffy on him. Don't really care about him. But, hey, so that's the news for Amari Cooper and Jarvis Landry being cut and all that. And finally... I want to get into the Jaguars. The Jaguars are going crazy today. They've signed four people today. They've signed four people. They got Brandon Scherf, the lineman 
from the uh, Washington Commanders. They got him. He was a top lineman in his free agency class. They got him. Then they went out and got Foya Sada Alukan from the Falcons. That's the linebacker from the Falcons. So, so far, they've boasted their position at offensive lineman, and they boasted their position at linebacker. Then they went out and got defensive tackle. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so y'all bear with me. Florence, Florence Fadukasi? <laughs> I don't know his name, but they went out and signed him to a three-year deal, both in their defensive tackle position, and then they just went out and got receiver from the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. So the, the, the Jaguars are going crazy. The Jaguars are trying to build around Trevor Lawrence. They're trying to get him an offensive line. They're trying to get him more receivers to throw to. And I think Christian Kirk is the perfect receiver to go through that. Because Christian Kirk, to me, Christian Kirk shows flashes of having number one receiver potential. So that's a great pickup for the Jaguars right there. Then they go out and get the defensive tackle. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that's a big pickup because I know he's nice on the Jets. And then they go out and get Foyasad, the linebacker from the Falcons. So that's another great pickup at another position. So to to me, they're having one hell of a free agent free agency. And they got high picks in the draft. So to me, no matter what they do, they're gonna have a great free agency, probably gonna have a great draft. So this is very, very good for the Jaguars. Those were four great pickups that they just got, but hey. I just want to keep y'all updated with this free agent stuff. It's a lot going on. So as much as I can give to y'all, that's what I'm going to give, man. So appreciate y'all. Make sure I like, share, subscribe. Y'all know I'm going to keep coming with these videos. A lot is going on. So, hey, like I said, love y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Whatever happens, I'm going to be here to give it to y'all, like always. And I'm out, bro. Yo, YBH.